Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines in our beautiful city. Man, from so far away, I just can't look at it. It is just too freaking insane with all the naming, but there we go. The city is coming along, that's for sure. I wonder how far we can still take it before everything breaks down. <laughs> Anyways, one of my most recognizable viewers suggested to make a huge custom cemetery area out of this. And I, I tend to say cemetery, even though it is cemetery, but that's just something that happens, I don't know why. And it's probably gonna happen a couple of times in today's episode as well. Anyways, the idea was to have like a little church surrounded by walls, divided by bushes, maybe a couple of other buildings. Obviously, the recycling center will have to go. Though, hold on. What is this actually? This is uh, waste transfer facilities. Do you have some noise pollution or uh, ground pollution? That's actually what I'm interested in. Not much with the Eden project that we have going on. So I presume it wouldn't hurt to actually move them around. In order to do that, I will first have to empty both facilities. So one of the things I would like to do actually is to set up a wall. Now let me try to find blue flooded... What? Uh, oh my gosh, that is tiny! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that, that's not really what I'm looking for. Jeez, what, what can you make with these tiny walls? Yeah, I was looking for the castle walls here, but I believe we have even other castle walls. There are hedges, okay. There are even trenches. <gasps> That is gonna be cool. Can I fill these up with water though? I mean, it, it just looks like a tiny canal without water at the moment. Uh, no, we're not getting anywhere here. Let's try with Castle. <gasps> castle of Lord w Chirpwick. We could potentially use that as a jerk. Uh, 1,900k? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, Castle of Lord Chirpwick. I think that could be a really good thing. Then we have the castle ruins, and I think this is what I was looking for. Yes, I can make walls. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is actually update, move the highway a little bit. So let's see if we can at least get a sound barrier in the joint. Looks like I actually went with a larger road here. I'm not sure that is even necessary, but we're gonna play their game and upgrade this road. Next, we want to move these a little closer together. I want this to be nice and snuggly. Are you serious? <laughs> Darn Zeppelin. <laughs> hey, dude! Jeez! Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Much better. I want this all nice and together, at least up to the interchange. Next up, we want to take the train tracks and basically do the same thing. Just push them as close to the highway as possible, making things hopefully look nice, finished and intentional. Okay, not too shabby, as Nathan would say. Let's now go back to the castle walls. And we're gonna try to set this up. Well, we're not gonna quite treat it as castle walls. It's just gonna be a wall next to the highway. <laughs> because the cemetery place we're going for is not supposed to be something abandoned. It is something very much alive. Gonna do that and try to move it, move it. You know, I really think I would have given up a long time ago without the Move It mod. I'm really sorry about everyone who has to play on console. I mean, it is still a good game in vanilla, don't get me wrong. But the Move It mod should be in the game, no questions asked. This should be a feature of vanilla. And it baffles my mind it isn't yet. But check this out, this is actually not too bad. We got like a custom wall and everything. Now we should be able to take these recycling centers or uh, the waste transfer facilities, I mean. Let's have a little side road going this way. And since this is not producing any more ground pollution, I think we're gonna be fine. One is gonna go here and another one is gonna go there. The Eden Project, I definitely recommend you to build that. It is absolutely a necessity in your city and since it is affecting the entire city, there's really no reason not to. Now naturally we can keep in this road, but I really feel like a dirt road is gonna be much more appropriate for this area. Now we're going back to our castle walls and just kind of try to outline what we're going for here. And of course we're also gonna do the necessary adjustments. Uh, for this part it's gonna be a little agonizing, but since it's a wall it can also be with sharp corners, it doesn't always have to be a round corner. The most important part is that it is really close to the road, the highway, etc. 
All right, nice. I kind of like that. Now I wonder, can I just add another road here? Ah, this is perfect. It's just like a road. It behaves like a wall. I can treat it as a road. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna set up this area. So I want a couple of roads, some of them straight, some of them curved, and we are gonna go for these unique buildings. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let me actually find that again. I think someone said in the milestones, it might be easier to look that up. Uh, yeah, right there. Monuments. We can actually see what is required. So let me find the castle. Here it is. Castle of Lord Chirpwick. We need uh, the clock tower still. There is an observation tower and we needed the... Oh, the sea fortress. Interesting. So we needed that. However, it requires a shoreline. That means uh, uh, the womb district might be a better place to set it down. Yeah, interesting. Okay, this might actually really fit in here if we uh, plan this out a little more carefully. Ah, no, 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 that's not good. I'm really not happy with that. I'm gonna have it on this side of the womb district for now, but just know that this is not the final position. Also, you let me know I placed the, the lighthouse the wrong way around. Can I not select this again? I mean, it would make sense to rotate that, right? <laughs> I wasn't thinking right. So there we go. We would want more something like this. And, well, I can believe it, yes. Anyways, the next thing we needed is the clock tower. Now, ah, okay, this isn't too large. Let me quickly think. What fits best for a clock tower? Mm, I really feel Neptune Falls could be the thing to accommodate this tower. Now, can we make this a little more prominent? Maybe here in the Neptune district. I mean, we're not quite done with the decorative parts, so my suggestion is to place it down for the time being, and then maybe if we see a good opportunity later on, we will move it. Yeah, it looks like this is the only reasonable place right now. I'm gonna have it here. But also with this, just like with the castle, my intention is to move it slightly. I still need the observation tower. Let's try to find that. Observation tower. Yeah, this definitely fits in the womb district. Uh, no, not really at the coast. I think this can be a little more inward. Or we just have it here? No, I, I really would like to have it there, actually. Can we achieve that? Can I just get this away? Then place the tower. Go to move it and undo. Wow, okay, that is actually a really nice position. You can overview the city, you can still see the sea. It's amazing. That means I should now be able to place the castle. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Though, it is already built on cliffs. You know, you would not usually see these castles so far down in the valley, but I'm gonna treat it more like a humongous church. So it looks like we could get it in here if we do some trickery. So just place it first and then bring it over. Yes, and now instead of the cliffs, we're actually gonna make it disappear. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's not working. My plan is not working. That means we'll have to adapt the terrain a little bit to make this make more sense. And uh, done it. Now I'm not so convinced anymore, but it would look nice, you know. It just doesn't really make sense with the cliffs and everything. <laughs> Uh, you know, we can still make it work. Uh, let's find some cemetery-looking stuff. So we have an ancient cemetery, something purely decorative. Let's go ahead and start building some of those here. If I can, I would like to get two in the joint. Doesn't look like we can do it this way. Maybe I can rotate it. So you go right there and you go right here. That might work. So these, once again, are purely decorative and won't be doing anything for us. However, this uh, kind of cemetery we have is gonna do something for us. So we're gonna have the active cemetery right here. Yeah, okay, I, I see this starting to come along. So now I'm just gonna keep building a little bit. We're gonna have some decorative parts inside. Come on, wanna make sure this is all nice and snugly. I just love how the road then connects to the actual castle walls. It's just a nifty effect. Okay, not bad. Maybe with a couple of rocks we can make it believable. I want to go with the dark kind. Uh, ah, this is gonna be so agonizing, isn't it? I mean, how are we even gonna do this? And did I just remove a wall piece? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, but maybe, just maybe, this tactic is gonna work. If I move this over, move this there, can I move it down as well? No, no, okay, screw everything. There it is, a smaller rock just for you. Maybe we can add a taller one somewhere, but I think I might want to refrain from the penis rocks for this build. Yeah, we're just gonna bring some color variations in here with the rocky structure. Okay, you know, despite the fact it is still unrealistic, I believe it much more now. Just cheat a little bit there. Okay, ah, that works out. We're gonna end it beneath the train tracks for now. Or we can also hook this up together. With a little bit of trickery, that might not even be a problem. Let's try that. Yeah, all right, that's what I'm talking about. Well, the next step I want to take is make this look a little more realistic. I want this road to wrap around the ancient cemetery instead. I'm also going to move this a little further away so I can make a more or less nice curve. I don't want to try to raise the terrain a little bit at this point. I'm not sure uh, that doesn't seem to work particularly well. Yeah, that's the border around the castle property, but let's see what we can achieve. I want all of this up just a little bit and then smooth into the wall. Okay, that's actually not too bad uh, considering what I'm going for. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm going for. But hopefully you'll be happy with the end results. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I wanted these rocks to be elevated a little bit. And they also hide the fact we have an ugly border going on. So you come right over here. I guess it just requires a few rocks to get where we want to go. Gonna put another rock here and I still want to make sure this gazebo is somewhat accessible but it can be like more abandoned. It's a weird place for a gazebo anyways. Now as for the vegetation we're first going to hide some ugly facts that this isn't really the place for a castle. But yeah just think of it as a church we're role playing that just like we did with other parts of the city. A couple of the bigger trees planted along the road and I guess we could wrap this up with a little bit of great wood density all the way up to the train track. I like that. Oh, this is so more convenient with uh, prop anarchy since we can overlap the trees with the stone structures. So I can just go ahead and fill up the rest of this. That doesn't really make sense in my opinion. But instead some of these trees are going to be treated like bushes because we can place them inside. So if you just overlap the top, the crone of the tree, it might resemble bushes instead of trees. Okay, this is not bad. I'm actually going to take it. What else do we want in here? We are also going to need more healthcare, right? A crematorium, for instance. I think with this part, I just want this to be like a park structure with pathways. And then the cemetery we can have right here. However, let me move that around a little bit. I want it to be right in this corner. Next up, we want a couple of pathways in the joint. So this is going to go over here. And if I can move around this, I'm going to. So it can connect up to the other piece of road. Beautiful. All right, that's good enough in terms of pathways. The rest is going to be decorative. So yeah, let me just go ahead and fill this up with a bunch of plants and rocks. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself over and over. You, you get the basic gist with the decorations. Yeah, I mean, it surely is uh, repetitive, but just, you know, with this four-way train slash highway intersection in the background, I just think this is quite an epic project. Mind you, we still haven't gone through the detailing of this. A lot of it I'm actually still not happy with. But let's continue with the decorations here. I definitely want to include some more stone structures, so I kind of have to make sure I put these in in the beginning. And we can also overlap them a little bit to make more interesting structures. Naturally, a little bit of grass and bushes cannot hurt either. Maybe a little bit here to wrap everything up. Gonna complement this area with a bunch of more colorful trees. Maybe a couple here and there as well. All right, I can live with that. Let's get a bunch of small rocks. Add them here as close as possible to the castle walls. A few more bushes and I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. Let me add one more here. Okay. Ah, I'm actually really fond of it. I'm so happy with it. Of course, tracks just be ignore everything beyond the wall. That still belongs to the detailing episode. Now, let me just continue here with an artificial stone wall. This is okay if it looks a little bit repetitive. It is actually supposed to look a little bit repetitive. 
Yeah, there we go. I think we're getting there. This is more or less what I wanted to see. I guess the textures could be a little bit better. Now, I want trees that are just a little bit bigger. Maybe that's already too tall. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can make it look like uh, we have some bushes coming out of this. At least if we get the smaller versions. So the tall versions are a little bit in the way. Does this look weird from the other side? No, nope, it's actually okay. So I'm just gonna fill this up all the way around. Maybe let it come out on the other side as well, just a little bit. And it's okay if it comes out at the top. These are just supposed to be overgrown rocks. And to wrap everything up, we're gonna have an array of small trees hanging out here. All right, there we go. I think we're done with this little area. Now we still have plenty of space. Maybe I'm actually gonna set up the sea fortress here. Why the heck not? I mean, we could just set up a pond. It might look absolutely amazing. I think I wanna at least give this a shot. So we're gonna put that over here. Have this road continue on the other side of the wall. Then I quickly need to grab you. How much are you gonna cost to rebuild? Probably a lot. 20k? Okay, I can take that. Uh, okay, the city is getting too big. Where were we? I'm always confused when I'm looking at things in a different angle. So this is about here. It would be enough to have... Yeah, let's try that out here. I want to go into terrain editing. And we're gonna bring this down here, here. Uh, hold on, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> we want to go down. And for now, this uh, probably... Uh, let's also give this some shape. I'm gonna go smaller and not up. Come on. And now I have too much soil. That is fine. We can make this look even more interesting by adding a hill region. So this is gonna be water, 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 all the way up to here. Not too shabby, we can definitely test it out. I think I'm gonna have to go with the smallest water source that I have. I'm gonna place it here and move it down. So it should be filling up to this point. Yeah, let's go ahead and unpause the game for a brief moment. Wanna actually see this work. Okay, great, that actually looks good. We don't have water or power in this region, that is unfortunate. These poor little bastards. Huh, the power is actually a little bit of an issue. I can't get power without destroying major parts. <laughs> Maybe the castle is gonna allow me to transfer the power a little bit better. Hey, they didn't have water anyways. So yeah, I can definitely place it over here. I think that is fine. I might still expand... No, I'm definitely gonna expand the puddle of water in this case. Yeah, we want this to be completely submerged, more or less. Yeah, this all looks weird. You have to go, you have to go. Okay, but it is definitely still working out. I'm gonna move back my dirt road. At the back of the road, I want to set up a little forest. Ah, there we go. Okay, at least I found a way to get out of this without breaking too much stuff. We want to power up the fortress for now as well. If that doesn't work, we're just gonna set up another earthquake sensor in order to connect everything. But there we go. At least for now, no more power complaints. We're good. Let me go ahead and set up the forest here. So it's gonna be a thick forest with all the large types of trees. Nothing too special or fancy. There we go. Set and done. The last thing that I'm missing is a bunch of cliffs. So cliffs is another thing. That is just another word I'm trying to use instead of saying rocks. You know, gotta spice things up a little bit in this let's play. But, you know, despite the fact that a lot of the steps we're taking on a regular basis, I have to admit this is starting to look really good. Alright, I think this is actually all I'm gonna do for today's episode. I wanna let the game run for just a little bit to see if everything works fine. But this little empty piece just has become so much better. I wonder what I should set up here. I mean, we could still go with the cemetery theme, but I think we used enough space to kind of simulate that, especially with the church in quotes. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with that. Crazy times. All right then, at this point I would say we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Let me know what else you wanna see in order to fill up this space. I mean, we didn't achieve anything useful in today's episode, however, most of the area we did today is already in its final form, already decorated. I just see there is a graphical glitch here, so as soon as the trees downsize with the resolution, they actually poke through the walls, so yeah, that's maybe something we'll have to get used to, but overall, not a big issue. Cool, with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I saw this. Don't worry. <laughs>